Hello hard hats and welcome back to Construction Simulator Runway Part 2 on the European map. We're 83% done. Apply asphalt, compact asphalt, and the arresting system components we have to go pick up. At least to start off the episode. Uh, but that's also going to pretty much almost get to where uh, we are done with the airport runway anyways. Uh, let's go over to here. Uh, see, where should I start? Am I closer to this end? Yeah, we're closer to this end. So we'll start over here. Um, I, I, I didn't really notice at, until like the end of the episode. I don't know when it happened, but, uh, all the buildings here disappeared, uh, like magic. So they're already gone. Spin around here. Uh, let's go ahead and extend paving screen. Roll forward. And apply asphalt. And away we go. Uh, so if it's like the other half of the runway, just up and down, I think is all I have to do. And of course, we'll have to refill multiple times. But we'll get the asphalt and the runway kind of put in, or in. And then uh, we'll go pick up the arresting system. And I think after I get that in, uh, we just got to clear the job site and the runway will be done. And then we can move on to building the hangar. I, I, I think I'm just trying to remember from the USA map. I think the hangar came next. I really haven't been paying too much. Oop. Well, I'm not paying attention about the asphalt either. Now, am I? No, I'm not. Uh, fill up. And then asphalting on. But I really haven't been paying attention about the order of the, the job for here. probably have to move all my equipment that's over there on the right hand side but if I do I do if I don't well then we know where it is so things seem to be going rather smoothly on the airport job and over here in Europe we're getting through the European contracts and campaigns I feel quickly compared to the USA ones uh, even the spaceship ones seem longer than here. We've only had a couple of long jobs here, not a whole lot. I don't know, maybe when I get to the finale, the finale on the USA map was kind of quick. That was uh, like building a theme park. I can almost feel the heat coming off this asphalt. We all know that feeling when you drive through a construction zone and they're paving and you, you're you you're alongside the paver when you drive by and you just feel the heat coming off of it. Alright, now we'll do this side over here. Why is it turning? Come on, turn. There we go. Machine had a mind of its own there for a second. So I'll try to get this steamroll before nighttime. Because I think when I did runway part one, we laid down the asphalt. And then slept through the night before I rolled it. It's just turning four o'clock now, so I should be able to do that. I did bring over the paver and the roller just before I started recording. You didn't need to see me just teleport over there to teleport back over to here. Even though I got a clear shot down the runway, it would take a while doing at the top speed of those two machines, which is not that high. Got to keep my eye on the asphalt level of the paver because I've been falling asleep on that. I'm not really a, a huge fan of the paving and the rolling. The soil compacting or compacting of the asphalt. 
don't mind doing it once in a while, but definitely not on my top list of things I like to do. Alright, so I'm going to have to go back down just a little bit, but that's fine. But I do have to put more asphalt in, which is not really what I want to do. Alright, turn around here and four more percent. I think we can manage. We got a big long strip ahead of us. There we go. Alright, uh, asphalting off. Retract the pavers. Let's bring it over here. Maybe I should park it on the road because I think the road is going to be a mainstay of the airport and the buildings will be, of course, parallel to it. So maybe park those machines there so less I have to move later on. All right, we'll do the same thing. We'll start on the other side and roll it. But when I'm clanging and banging on, but almost like SnowRunner, where you just all of a sudden hit something and do 10% damage to your suspension. I'm not even going to look back. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not. I'm not going to look back to see if it's uh doing the rumble strips like it did on the USA map when I did the finale. That was, I think, just a one-time thing, I hope. Sometimes I see updates for Construction Sim, uh, but I never see... Sometimes there are no patch notes, and sometimes it just says... We've all seen it. Minor bug fixes and such. And <laughs> you're like... But what, what bug fixes? Because I would like to know if it's the ones I've been seeing. Or it's such a long list that they don't want to list them all and let you know how many bugs were in the game. So I, I was asked, and I have answered this before for the most part, but um, yeah, once we are done with the campaign stuff, I don't have any more, I mean, I got the airport here, and we got the finale for the European map, and that is it for now, currently. Um, I've tried doing episodes before of just doing regular jobs, but when I do those videos, I get, the only comments I get on it is like, yeah, let's not do those, let's do the campaign stuff. So... To answer the question, more than likely when I get done with the campaign stuff here in Europe, we'll probably be taking a break from Construction Sim. Uh, as far as I, I don't remember now, I may have to look at the season pass for year two. I know in a few weeks they're bringing out um, the last quarter of the season two pass, which is another brand coming to the game. So it's just going to be more equipment. But as I'm seeing, other than the looks of it, we're not really getting a description of the vehicles, so it's kind of hard to compare one to another. Maybe they don't want to do that. Uh, but yeah, once once the campaign stuff is done, and maybe when the year three pass comes out, and they add more campaigns or add something more to it, then uh, we'll get back into it. But that, you know, we got this whole airport and finale to go, so I don't know how many episodes that's going to be. Maybe 10 or so. But in a way, for me, it's kind of a good thing because with uh, Farming Simulator 25 coming out in about a month and a half, um, I'll be going kind of hard at that at the beginning. Farmer's Dynasty 2, I, I don't know. We had the demo version two or three months ago, and I would like to get back into that. Uh, I just hope that they've added more to the game to keep it 
somewhat more interesting and they don't have some of the issues that they had in the first one so we'll be getting into that uh, for those people who are interested in, were interested in My Time at Portia and My Time at Sandrock uh, the third My Time at Ever there's a third one coming out um, it's going to be on Kickstarter soon I got the email from the dev on that like a couple weeks ago uh, no release date, as far as I know, but it's going to be on Kickstarter in a couple weeks, so I, I don't know when that game will be coming out. Of course, I'll be getting into that, because I did like Porsche and Sandrock. And there's a lot of other games that currently I, you know, have been in uh, and playing, like Demolish and Build 3. I haven't had a chance to get back into that. Uh, Forklift Simulator, I got asked about that, and... Really, uh, I mean, I might be able to do another episode or two on that, but I'm not seeing anything yet that would keep interest in people watching the videos. That's because it's it's going from one company to the next, and I don't see where we can build like our own company and work on our, towards our own company or anything like that. Uh, so, Forklift Simulator, not too sure if I'll get into more episodes of that. And everything else, like SnowRunner, ATS, that'll be the same as usual. I'm so far behind on SnowRunner, so I'm never going to run out of content in that by just doing two episodes per week. Uh, ATS is usually just one episode per week, which seems to be fitting, so... Yep, plenty of videos to make in the future, that's for darn sure. So even though Construction Sim may come to a halt for a little while, in about a month or so... We'll have plenty more to to get around. How are we doing here? 65% done. So it's like one more down and one more up in this general direction that will complete the uh, compacting of the asphalt. We'll sleep through the night and we'll go grab the arresting system. Come on, make that corner. There you go. Don't make me back up in this thing. Yeah, I do got 12 million. I wonder which account... I don't remember what I left with on the American map, the USA map. And when I end this one, which one am I going to have more money in the bank account on? Not that it matters, but it'll be just kind of a fun little thing like, oh, I earned more money on the American map than here. I want to say we hit 15 million on the American map. And the way it's going, I think we will on this one also. Let's turn around. I'm not going to bother about backing up and trying to get every little piece in that section. So I should be able to get it before I get to the other end, I would think. Watch it prove me wrong. I haven't seen a, a boat go by yet, although I haven't been paying that much attention. Uh oh, it's getting dark, so you have to hold out on me <laughs> for the last 9% here. Time I turn on the lights, uh, I'll be done with the job, anyways. Ninety-seven. Don't make me turn around now. 98. Oh, 100. Didn't even hit 99%. Didn't need it. <laughs> Let's get off the asphalt. The rumbly rumbly should stop here any second. Or maybe not. There it goes.
All right, now the truck is over here. We'll enter. Uh, but before we teleport and do all that, let's jump out, grab the coffee mug, and I'll see you in the morning. Well, that was quick. All right. We need to go over here. Only 236 credits to travel. Who wouldn't? When he got millions of dollars in the bank account. If I remember, these can stack on top of one another. And up, and over. Do I want to stack? Or do I want to... Yeah, we'll stack. <laughs> Only because it flickered. Only because it flickered for me to put it there. It's like, alright, we'll put it there. All right, and then back to here. And then I think we'll unload it by using the crane on the truck here rather than the big crane. But we will use the big crane to put these in place. Was it 14 or 15 I did on the other side? I will have to probably clear this area before it will show up. Alright, and then do that. Clear the marked area. Working on it. Uh, okay, we're not backing up whatever that is. Alright, says 11. But I am going to move the truck a little bit more out of the way. All right, into the big crane. And let's move these 11 pieces, shall we? Wonder how many times that light's gonna stop me from pivoting because it's gonna happen. All right, might as well grab this set first, I suppose. And we'll swing around, and looks like it's going to land right in that corner perfectly. Now, the next one. Okay, there's fine too. Well, might as well get that one in the same row. Kind of close it up a little bit, and then get 
Put that one there. All right, what do you line up to? Oh, it looks like you line up with that one, so... Or, or that. That's, that works. <laughs> but that's, that just means the one I was just trying to get it in is now open, so I should just slide right on in, right? Alright, we'll get this one in the corner. that one there. And now for the last piece. Alright, clear the construction zone. Well, we'll just do that and speak with the engineer. Don't think, have I given her a name yet? I don't think so. It's not Mary because that was the mayor. Good news. The safety inspector has left the field with a defeated expression. A good thing. Now we can turn our attention to the hangar. Unfortunately, the small wooden cabins had to give way to the runway. Yes, they were old and ramshackle. But I used to enjoy spending summers here. These bungalows served as my hiding place from my annoying brother, who never got tired of being a pain in the neck to me and other kids, even here at summer camp. But let's not get into that. It's not good for my blood pressure. And I don't care. Um, <laughs> we'll be speaking with you in just a moment. Oh, we're in the construction zone. There we go. Alright, so the runway is in, and like she said, I think it's time to build a hangar. So, wait for this to complete, and we'll get started right away. Oh, wrong, wrong button. There we go. Nope, airfield, and hangar. Uh, make sure we're on medium. Job difficulty doesn't seem that bad. Why is she always so far away? Don't know what I should be bringing over first. Probably, it's usually the dozer is what I need first for the most part. It would have been good if we just built runway part two was actually runway part one. And then runway part one is actually runway part two. Because... Looks like we're going right back down to the other end where all my machines were. So, if I did that job first, then this runway second, my machinery would be right here where the hangar needs to be. I'm just saying, planning. Planning is, is crucial. I mean, you're making my poor guy run 400 meters. Oh, uh, we got more artifacts here? No, it's just a stump. Probably gonna have to remove that. Oh, but we got room for it. my stationary crane, though. Don't tell me stories about your brother. In case you were wondering about my nostalgia for this place being torn down, can you believe that this was my old summer camp? Uh, it's, it's hard to believe. The true. They had tried to preserve the old buildings, but it had become too dangerous here. So this is where the hangar should be built. It needs not only weatherproofing, but also a custom-made folding gate that will allow the maximum span of our machines to pass through. Finally, there must be an aircraft turntable inside on which the sports machines can be rotated towards the entrance. A clever design. I'm very curious to see how it turns out. I'm gonna tell your brother though. All right, um, remove topsoil. Yeah, we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, building materials store. We all know I like to do this almost right at the beginning. Uh, 
All right, whoop. And then deliver to the job site for measly 6,500 bucks or euros. Uh, we are good. Oh, I was kind of standing there. All right, and then the crane. Yep, we'll set this up. It's good to go. And uh, remove topsoil. Uh, but we're going to remove the debris first. Where? Oh, now I see where it needs to go. Gotcha. Let's see. Line up my crane. Yeah, this crane still does seem a little bit faster to me. Might be all in my head, but... Watch out for the lights and stuff. Alright, move the rock over. And then the broken sewer element. Whoops, putting the rock on the wrong spot. There we go. Uh, broken sewer elements. I wonder how it became too dangerous around here for summer camps. Yeah, it's too dangerous here for summer camps, but let's put down an airport then. Let's add to the danger. Alright. Lower that down carefully. Anything else before... Or is it just remove the topsoil? Alright, you're not going to give me anything else. All right, so now we got to come over here. Oh, first thing on the list is the dozer. Oh, yeah, falling through the map. Did I see a train falling through the map at the same time? Interesting. Maybe the train was coming out of nowhere. Maybe it just says a loop. All right, speaking of doing a loop... Yeah, let's come in here and just start doing the whole zigzaggy kind of a thing. I'm going to clear out this little corner first. Alright, lower the blade down. Now we'll go this way. Clearing a path. So typical. Got a nice... Well, it, she says it's dangerous around here or whatever. But taking out a summer camp and putting it in an airport... Racking up the percentage points here. Dirt just magically disappear disappears, so there's any bit left over that we got to get, there's going to be plenty of ridges I can get the last percentage parts from. Alright, 
big pile of dirt there. Let me just uh, kind of eliminate that pile if I can. Is there enough here on this one pass or not? Almost. If I can get it right here. There we go. Uh, what kind of a trench are we talking about? Alright. I think on that we'll actually use the excavator. And we'll put that right here. Excavator. My machinery is starting to get a little bit worn. I keep saying, oh, I'll, I'll bring up my maintenance vehicle and we'll take care of that. And then, um, then I don't. So. Alright, so I think I'll back drag like I have been doing. That works out rather well for me. We'll get the top half first. Although this trench is a little bit bigger than the bucket, I think. So I, should I be just digging it, or... Uh, right, I kind of put the dirt there if I need a backfill. Am I only getting 2% per bucket? Well, that time I got 5%. I think the trench is a little bit wider than the bucket itself, so back dragon may not help me out too much on this one. I mean, I can try it to see what it actually does here. But we are digging rather deep. So I think it's going to fill up rather quickly. Back up a little bit more here. All right, that's 25%. Let's get around my dirt pile. The next step is uh, put something where my dirt pile is. I may rage. But <laughs> it's happened a couple of times where I put a dirt pile somewhere. It's like, hey, clear out this area. Make sure I don't get anything back in the trench itself. I need to back up a little bit. We're just too close. I think 
think I'll try to back drag here a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of dragging me to one side because the tracks on the left are up on a uh, little bit more of a higher ledge of soil than what's on the right. It's kind of messing around with how we back up. I mean, as long as I get to 50%, which we should, not 50%, sorry, 75%, because I know I can get 25% from the corner piece like I did on the uh, top side. But the way it's going, looks like I almost got to get every little bit of this out. Put some dirt over here. Oh, for a minute, it wasn't moving forward. I'm like, what am I stuck on, man? I mean, the dozer, I may have been done with the job by now, but I do try to do some of the jobs as intended with the excavator. And it's actually one of the machines I'm very comfortable in using. Drag to the corner, maybe. Clean up the mess that's there. I'm not going to bother back dragging the last corner. We'll just go ahead and buck it. Can I get all the way to the corner? Almost. the eight percent so just got to get of course the last two percent your math is correct all right so can i back up behind me is the question uh kind of just gotta do that a little bit whoop And there we go. All right. So we'll move some of this stuff around here. Let's 
So formwork and concrete elements. Okay, so which one's going where? Or is it a mixture of both? I don't know, I feel like grabbing one in the center for some reason. Alright, now you want to go on that one. That's fine by me. Okay, and then two concrete formworks. For some reason, I thought it said three and three, but it's three and two. Uh, there's one. Oh, okay, now I see the other one. Maybe after I get this in place, we might sleep to the night. Unless it's just unpacking material or something. Uh, quiver foundations, are they, they are usually here somewhere. Oh, never mind, found them. All right, we'll slap some of these in. All right, probably the farthest corner over here. Probably after I get these in. It'll be time to call it an evening. All right, let's get these other four in. Just grab any old one, I guess. The heck was that? It's like something uh, flew across in front of my crane and it hit the wire or something. So you see, right there, just lock in. Thank you. All right. 
unpack construction material. Ooh, I made it across. Oh, goody. Poor concrete. <laughs> In the pillars. Um, probably do it with a crane, actually. But that means I need to get... Uh, let's see. how uh, Company, warehouse. That's it. Um, and then... Deliver to the site. And it should be here. I hope. Oh, wait. I think I see it. There it is. All right. We're, we're, we're good to go. All right. Coffee break. Time to get to the morning. All right. Pour the columns. So we need our concrete bucket. All right, got to get the camera like that. So here all my controls are where they need to be. Part of me coming through. Probably should raise that up a little bit. All right, where are the first columns I got to do here? Oh, they're all on the other side. All right, let's go ahead and rotate it so that is on this side. There we go. And then fill the bucket. All right, so from what I remember on the previous jobs is not try to fill it from the top, which sounds kind of weird, but we got to come down a little bit. There we go. And as the column fills up, we raise up the bucket. All right, number one done. Just run it right against the column, I think, is what we need to be doing. That seems to work the best, honestly. Just let it smack the column and about start about halfway down and then raise it on up That's, yeah, that, that seems to work pretty darn good. Not quite realistic in a sense, but I'm all about getting the job done. Of course, I say not realistic, but then I leave the... the the pour on as I go from one column to another. Nope. Not quite there. There we go. Nope. Am I there or not? There we go. Alright, I got one more probably, or is it two more? One more. All right, clear the marked area, make sure I'm not pouring anything else. All right, we will set this down somewhere out of the way. Actually, right here would be a good spot for it. Um, you got to wait until it turns green, Peanut, before... <laughs> You've been playing construction sim for how long? Uh, probably too long at this point. All right, uh, rebar mesh, we need three of them. I got three, three rebar mesh. 
I see... Oh, uh, we got double stacks. I did not know we had double stacking. All right. And scaffolding. I think this is a scaffolding here. Got to move that anyways, because it's got the rebar mesh underneath it. Alright, and then drop these two rebar mesh in. now it's deliver and spread gravel i love spreading gravel but i think i'm gonna wrap it up there for today uh did pretty good we're actually 44 percent done with a hanger so i would think we might be able to finish it next episode possibly but the runway is done we knew that wouldn't take too long and uh we did rather well because the safety inspector apparently liked it and um yeah the engineer seems to be enjoying what we're doing here as well but uh, yeah, good start on the foundation for the hangar. But anyways, if you made it this far in the video and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps out the channel and the video more than you know. Also, lets me know that you enjoy seeing the content you saw here today. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell as well if you haven't already. So you don't miss out on more content like this. But that's going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here at Construction Simulator. But until then... Have a good one.